welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yes, uh, James, <laughs> Alice, um, at long last, you are here. Yeah, definitely. The battle is ended. Definitely. <laughs> uh, we are coming to really tell Ghanaians how we actually operate the electronic photo finish yeah. and how we have been able to calibrate their times and qualify them for international games. Wow. Yeah, this year we have two international games that we, we, we really want to have our athletes mm. uh, to take part for the seniors. We have the All African Games in Morocco, mm. and we have the World Championship in Qatar. in Qatar. As well as we have the uh, Co Confederation of African Athletics uh, okay. Championship that will be taking place at Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire for the under 18 and then under 20. Interesting. So you are actually in charge of all that. I mean, for the photo, photo electronics or something. How do you call it? Photo. Photo finish links. Photo finish links. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I was at Elwak Sports Stadium during the. Um, Investing, Gatusa Games. Gatusa Games, Games. Games. Yes, exactly. Yes. I was there and I saw how you guys were very seriously know. I mean, tell us more about the machines. How, I mean, this is scientific in nature. I know you are you are an engineer. Of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> but I, I, I love you know, my engineering. Exactly. You know. you know, how you are able to fix all these machines, ensure there is no cheating. I mean, the photo finish is working, I mean, on, I mean, on the tracks and all that. How do you do this? How? Tell us. All right. So I will say a part, and say then, and then, and then my, yeah. my colleague will also add Exactly. Here's his festive, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Festive. <laughs> <laughs> Festival. Uh, Festival. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. So um, in a game of athletics, mm. uh, we normally uh, officiate the track event. And then the track event, we have a system called Photo Finish uh, Links, mm. which have a, 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 a number of computers uh, for you to be able to connect cables to together through a, a network system okay. where you have a sensor attached to the starting gun. Okay. And then the sensor will pick the signal I mean, from the... Okay, so, yeah, um, yes, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, on the uh, screen? So, right. so what is on the screen that you are seeing is our computer that we actually use. If you see very clearly, you see a blue a blue uh, cable entering my laptop. That okay. is the cable that picks the signal right from the connection box to um, the starting gun. Okay. So once the gun goes off, the time starts running. Starts to roll, um, yeah. yeah. So the, you don't have control over the, the time. Okay. All that you do is to make sure that this connection works and you receive a signal. Okay. Then there's a software that will give you the opportunity to take pictures only on the finish line. Wow. Only on the finish line. So anybody... Who is this? Uh, that is uh, festival, my colleague. Uh, oh, Bashi, yeah. yeah, he's trying to align the camera as well as the lens on the finish line. So all the eight line, uh, eight lanes, their finishing point. That is the finish line. That's where we will pick every image, and then the image is picked thousand pieces at the seconds. Wow, thousand, thousand. So anything that passes in front of us or through the finish line we'll be able to cut so that's why you don't allow human beings to cross the line at all if you if you ever visit me see how aggressive <laughs> i am on the, the finish line then, hey, hey, don't cross don't cross interesting okay let me go to festive no festive watch it mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sure all the ladies are really watching you i mean from the is the campus are, are you a vandal oh yeah yeah a vandal 100 percent vandal <laughs> we made, we made. We made. <laughs> now tell us you know it's quite interesting how you guys really do work and i've been to your offices and i've seen how i mean as serious you guys really, I mean, do really work and ghana is not seeing you guys you are working so i mean and i mean big time and ghana really needs to appreciate you guys when people see athletics on the screens i mean they think it's just people running yeah but you guys are at the back the whole ghana these two guys yes you are the back but you know tell us uh, since you started this experience, you know, and in, I mean, in athletics, how has been the feeling? Any challenges um, have you gone through? Oh, there are a lot of challenges. Initially, I myself, I was an athlete. Athlete? I came back in the of Ghana. I started from the uh, primary level. SS, SS to okay. the... And wow. I entered the university. Is it 100, 200, or 300, or 400? 400 cross country. Wow. Yes. So from 400 coming, I can run, can partake in any event. So by the time I was competing, I wasn't, I wasn't having any idea about the electronic timing. Okay. Until I finished school and did my service at the Ghana, Ghana Athletics Association. Session. There that, I met my colleague James and we were working together. He, and he, they are, I've been learning from him and okay. by now, if you leave it to me, I can also operate. It's a little bit technical. National Society for Black Engineers. 
<laughs> that, that one is also a different part. Okay, yeah. okay. I see. I mean, you see, I get so much shocked. Okay. When I see you guys working, you know, I mean, on the tracks, it's amazing. I remember some time back, you know, at the uh, Ewak Sports Stadium, you know, the official from the various schools will come to you and then ask you, boss, uh, what's the real time? It's shocking they themselves are even sleeping, so they, I mean they would have to come to you for the real time. Yes. And what you say is final. Yes. Is that the case? Yes. yes. We we are actually the the final judge in every track event. The machine determines who actually cross the line first. Okay. And it is the same spot that we are taking the timing, but the 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 image. So, sorry. Uh, okay, check uh, the screens and yeah. uh, what so, I'm seeing. So, now. so you are currently you are you are viewing the wing gauge, uh, okay. score, score, scoreboard. It's the Ewak Sports Stadium, right? Yeah. So the, the wing gauge scoreboard mm. it tells you the win of the day, the direction of the, the, the win, whether it is against or okay. four. So if you have a plus, then it is 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 four. So it will aid you in your in your running. Run, running. Okay. But and this one uh, is the same yeah, thing. The same it's thing. So okay. if you watch his right hand side, that yeah. is the small anemometer. Anemometer. Okay. Yeah. Or okay. the, the wing gauge taking the record and then the scoreboard. You see, we, le we learned all this in school. Joking, yeah. But we didn't take so much serious in. You know, it's usage. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's amazing. Yeah. It's science, amazing. science. Science actually is interesting. Having uh, science in sport is great. Is it, but you see, watch it. First, Steve, um, clearly, you guys are really contributing to athletics. Yes. in Ghana yes. and um, how do you think Ghana is seeing you are Ghana I mean is Ghana appreciating what you're doing I just want to know well, the, the, the truth do they know what you're doing the truth matter is that those who know appreciate us because wherever we go and if they get to know they appreciate us especially just we, we, we return from uh, Cape 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 and the problem that we have at Kufodia is that any time there is athletics competition, it's like it's like a war. Mm -hmm. So any time they invited us last year and this year too, we went there to go and officiate to the system, and now they have come to accept it. Wherever we go, and they understand it, they accept it. So it, I know that we need to so start gradually, from somewhere. Yes, we yeah. need to start from somewhere, and end somewhere. So are you, are you virtually in control of all schools in Ghana? No, no. So why I I mean all, all the schools not embracing what the GAA is doing? The thing is, if you don't invite us, we we cannot come there okay. by ourselves unless you invite us. That's to take your I mean your TNT and stuff like that, yes. isn't it? All these <laughs> things <are> inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, 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 GAA Ghana Athletics Association, yeah. KTC, uh, Mr. Bauer, the CEO. Uh, um, he, I'm sure he's watching. I'm very, very sure. And and I'm, 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 I'm sure he went to court today. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, 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 don't, I don't know about oh, that. I know you. I, I know you went to court today. I don't know about that. We have no idea. Okay, okay. 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 I mean, for giving us this opportunity to be able to operate this time, um, I know from 2011 mm. when I actually started, uh, I've officiated CISA games. That's the security games. Yeah, CISA yeah, games. Yeah. yeah, and I've always officiated the Guza. Ghana University Sports Association game, mm -hmm. and they are much more interested in the in the timing because it qualifies it's their uh, uh, the athlete to either f physio or the or the FASU. FASU. Yeah, 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 yeah. The African uh, University games. games. African University games. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And then okay. the, the World um, University State Games. FASU. Yeah. FISU. Okay. Yeah. FISU. Okay. There, there, there has never been a time where you can do plus one or, or minus, minus one. one. You can only do point one or minus one. It's quite technical. Yeah, very technical. So, for example, like the best time so far that we've had is uh, for 100 meters mm -hmm. that we have really used the machine is 10.4. Who's that person? So, uh, back in 2012, I in think, uh, Imana could be, if I'm not there. Okay. Yeah. So far, we haven't had beyond that okay. like to enter 10.3 10 point something, yeah. 3 something. No, no. no 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 you you are you either see 10.5 10 10.6 10 okay yeah and then yeah it ranges between the 10.5 and 10.6 yeah. 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 since you guys started now do you think this thing is really helping athletics you know because we want more elites and for example as Ghana is preparing towards tokyo 2020 how no you are actually on the field how are you seeing Ghana's chances in athletics in Tokyo? I want to say this because you have actually seen the athletes. You've, I mean, you've seen them run. You are actually 
getting the scientific details of all the athletes, you know, their runs and all that. Personally, how do you see the chance of Ghanaian athletes on the tracks? Okay, me personally, uh, checking the Tokyo qualifying standard, mm. it's difficult for Ghanaian to qualify. It's difficult? Yes, because the qualifying standard for 100 meters per se is 10.05. 10.05 for, for a Ghanaian athlete to qualify to Tokyo to Tokyo even even the the record holder as it stands mm -hmm. now for Ghana is around 10 point 10 point 10 point two seven or so so how can Ghana go to Tokyo oh uh, I mean I'm sure and, and that's why in the past they've sent athletes to um, okay. university, you, you, okay. university outside. Outside. outside so we have almost like 40 athletes outside, uh, outside. outside. Who are schooling at the same time having the opportunity to use the facility at the at the at their school and they are training very hard to be able to to, to qualify mm. i know those over there can do it and we are equally pray, praying that the, uh, the, local the, the the local base but to answer your question clearly um athletes to to get a best athlete or get someone to qualify with that that, that time boils down largely on the coaches that we have. Don't you think uh, that you know likely to we can blame the tracks we have here? Uh, it makes the Elwak Tatan tracks. Yeah, I mean, sport. It's uh, it's it's in Kumasi yes. Tatan track is also have a challenge. If, if you can say right now in the country, the best track we have now is the Cape Coast. Yeah. Cape Coast. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was there myself. Now yeah, I saw you guys it, again. Yeah, mm. because it's like it was contracted just like maybe less than five years ago okay maybe that's the reason why and upon officiating the i can see that the best result is always coming from, from that track the, yeah okay yeah, yeah, yeah. now you guys are quite i'm mean, quite experienced i mean on the tracks with regards to the scientific aspect but let me ask this question uh, i need to really push you do you think that government should really spend more money of course you know in renovating our tracks and that can really you know um grow more quality at least rather than them going outside the country though where is how halutie how are this is in the states i mean preparing hard to to, to take part in tokyo i mean so it is a, and any information on her is she making a mark oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he just com uh, have, has her first competition competition okay i think just last week and the time that he made he made was mm. 10 11.78 Eleven point seven eight. Yeah. That's if you compare opening, that to that I mean the opening. The opening, okay. Yes, the and opening. for the opening it's difficult because it has been rare for almost six months. Okay. And right now that is getting back to now the she's track. now coming up yeah, gradually. Yeah, gradually. Yeah. So we are hoping for the best. So as we speak, nobody has qualified for Tokyo. No. No, we, we, we are gonna organize our competition till the end of the, the year. The year and okay. then we'll be able to have the athletes. And the, even the under twenty the under um eighteen and twenty will will also be another point for people to, to qualify. Okay. And then the Morocco, the all African game oh, is also another opportunity for them to also qualify. And then the world championship. You see athletics is is interesting in such a way that irrespective of where you compete you can easily qualify for an international game. Once you once you do your 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 personal best, so up or in the maybe somewhere in the central region, yeah, and still be. Once yes. we bring our equipment and we are, <laughs> we are able to satisfy yes. that, okay. that time, okay. yeah, you know, that time is that yeah, as qualify you, you then we, we can anybody can qualify. Anybody yes. can qualify. I mean, for the seven or eight years I have spent in athletics, yeah, I've seen that. If you qualify, there's no way they would deny, deny you. you. They will even support you to even fly you out of the country. So I day? Um, I'm talking about my, my association, <laughs> my boss, <laughs> my boss, <laughs> and, and, and his assistant executives. Okay. Yeah. And the, the, the problem that we have in the country is that we have only one machine in the whole country. So in case there's any hinges, that's all. Then that's it. Yeah. And it's our 16 regions yeah. now. Right now we have 16 regions. regions. We've been to 10 already. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we are waiting for the, yeah. for the next six. Anyway, it's quite interesting. Um, somebody tells me to ask you a question about Matabisa, but unfortunately yeah. you guys are not, you know, privy to that, so <laughs> I'm, I can see you tapping your colleague festive on another occasion. Anyway, but uh, you're still watching the Ultimate School right here on HS Television, and we're talking about you know, athletics. Uh, this is one of the most celebrated sporting disciplines, so to speak, of course, under the calendar of the National Sports Authority. And it's key. Ghana is preparing to 
go to Japan, of course, uh, 2020, of course, come next year. So athletics is one of the key components of all the disciplines. So we are talking about how Ghana can really qualify through all these scientific means. It's quite interesting. So my colleagues, of course, in the studios, uh, Boachi Yadom Yao, and then, of course, Billy James Dega, and uh, their electronic photo uh, finish operators for the Ghana Athletics Association. Now, so, now, festive. Um, your work. Is there a timeline for your work at the sports authority, or after your service you leave? Or, well, I mean, because when you leave, as when you leave, you know who comes in, and then all these experiences, you know, are just gone off, or you are going to be very, very stabilized and normalized, you know, at your working place. <laughs> so that you can, I mean, the, the whole thing can really go on. Okay, point of correction. I'm not doing my service. I'm done with my service. Okay. So right now, I'm in Ghana Athletic Association. I'm Pure. working with Ghana. Ghana working with them. Okay. Yes. I. I mean, are you being paid? Oh. It's a big question I need to ask. You. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. For now, we take it as yes. As yes. Okay, yes. we take it as yes. Yes. James, is of he right? Course. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> he's very right. <laughs> I think the uh, the boss of the NSA should mm -hmm. really acknowledge you mm, yeah. and see your efforts. Yeah. That you are doing for athletics, but I have seen it myself, and uh, many colleagues of mine have also seen themselves, and they, I mean, they really appreciate it. Yeah. And it's interesting. Are you trying to, you know, extend your experience in this field to, I mean, others, of course, in the in the association, for example? You know, just, just as my colleague said, yeah, uh, we we only have uh, one machine, so it's like, um, who bought the machine? Who bought it? It was bought during. A professor do this time. Francis do this time. time. Okay. Yeah. And he is still the president. Yeah. He's still the president. Yeah. Yes. Is he still the president? I, yes. I, don't, I, I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> so you know, you, you know, the, the <laughs> Christopher has Congress <laughs> hasn't been uh, elected. Okay. Okay. Yeah, as, as well as, I mean, the Congress hasn't been able to, to, to come out with Any that. Any reasons why the Congress is still on hold? I can tell you. For that one, there is a bar. We are glued to our photo finish. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Maybe Bauer can really answer that question. Maybe. Okay. So, this one says hello dennis i love the show and uh, i really appreciate the guys they've done so much for ghana athletics this is um mary from la Shibi. okay so one more so uh, i mean uh, let me have your uh comments your views and opinions coming through my whatsapp line on 055 300 3460 055 300 34 Six zero. Just um, let me have your views coming through my WhatsApp line. Just WhatsApp me, and I'll be reading your, you know, your thoughts and opinions right here. We are talking about athletics, and it's one of the major key components, of course. You know, so far as Tokyo 2020 is concerned. As I speak now, only one athlete has qualified for Japan 2020, and you can hear this exclusive right here on mm -hmm. HS Television. On the ultimate sports <laughs> with me, Dennis Moore, and <laughs> <laughs> nobody said that. Too. And you know that person is a blind oh, athlete. Okay. Yeah. It's a blind cyclist yeah. called Frederick yeah. Asso. Asso. Yeah. He's in Japan already. That's exclusive right here on HS Television on the ultimate sports. Now, gentlemen, uh, are you back to your question mm. about uh, asking if government should spend money to? To, to buy more equipment, you know, no, for no, you guys to, to refurbish our track. Yeah, yeah the track, tracks, yeah. Uh, with my experience at Beni, okay. I realized that they have a stadium solely for Atlantis. 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 I think it's time. I've been to Benin. I've been there before. Yeah, I think it's time Ghana also go solo for a sporting uh, a sports stadium that is solely for Atlantis. Okay. They, they have the main track for the event. And then they they, they, they have their, their training track. That's the warm up. Um, so for the warm up. Yeah. Yes. So doing competition, you only go and warm up over there. You don't compete there, but you come and compete. On I the think I, I wouldn't just cut you. I saw a similar picture that you're talking about in Australia, where um, all the athletes were engaged on a different pitch. Yeah. In, even including Ho Halutie. That's where they were all training together with the likes of you know yes. Asafa Powell and all that. You know. Yeah. And I was shocked. The place was so huge. From there, before they move to the real stadium, when is Ghana going to get such an edifice or such a facility? When? We look up to all of us. I mean, that, that will be my best answer. It, it, it all goes <laughs> down to the government. <laughs> the, the government is us. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> all of us have we to We want to let our voice be heard by the government. So, uh, and, 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 and you think, Ghana, we are going for gold in, in athletics in Tokyo? Do you want gold? Yeah, you, you want, want gold. silver? Do you yeah. want bronze or you want aluminium? You want gold. Gold. 
So you have to do the right thing here. Yes. yes. And you need to invest. Athletics is a, like a lifetime investment. Let's take uh, Usain Bolt for, for example. Usain Bolt, yeah. Usain Bolt, for example. Before, he would train for almost a year, but he would just come and run for just nine, un under nine seconds. Wow. And for the years, you know that how much... Amount he, of money that's really gone through his training. That goes into the training. Yeah. Even... The food they eat. The food they eat, Look, yes. I can tell you for sure, I actually met um, Mata Bisa before she left for the US. I met her. And look, I, I, I'm not saying this to you, know, just but... I was very close with her. I mean, I gave her bread, you know. And, and see, the food she was eating itself was quite, you know, uh, I mean, quite pathetic, so to speak. And I'm sure by now, as she's in the US, things are really getting better. Ho Halutie, Mata Bisa, could you mention them, I mean, them and all that? You know, so. We have Flames, also Japan. We have Jeanette and Poisson. Yeah. We have Dasso. We have Shadak, Recently, I was yeah. at your office and I mm. saw about three athletes yeah. move to the US. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But that is why you guys are really doing well for athletics, mm. you know, ensuring that Ghana uh, is really doing well. Yeah. Anyway, uh, just let me have your thoughts, your views coming through my WhatsApp line on 055 300 3460. 055 300 3460. Let me have your thoughts, your views, and opinions coming through my WhatsApp lines. The show is the ultimate sports indeed. Remember, the show is probably brought to you by Kanket C of Healthy Soul Clinic. They are located inside the uh, M Plaza Terminal at Circle. Yes, just here. With just 60 Ghana CDs, you are able to detect all your sicknesses gonorrhea, syphilis, typhoid, HIV. Yes, it's, uh, it's amazing, right? So, Healthy Soul Clinic is able to locate all this for you with just 60 Ghana CDs. They are located inside the M Plaza Terminal at Circle. So just go over and have yourself you know, tested. Uh, we are talking about you know, Ghana Sports here, and uh, we've, we've already actually touched on so many things. But remember, next week, just to just give you, you know, a bit of information, uh, that the National Paralympic Committee, the National Paralympic Committee, you know, have actually accepted you know, uh, the petition from the major stakeholders in the country. And uh, so now there's good news. The extraordinary Congress will be coming up next month here in this country, and of course, you know that is where all the stakeholders will be going for, you know, to just jaw jaw and just gather all the information that they will need for the main Congress in May. So this is quite exclusive here on HSTV on the Ultimate Sports as well, gentlemen. We are getting ready in five minutes to just wrap up the show tonight. Okay. Now, so James, tell us in general um, your opinions, your views, and your expectations. You know, with regards to Ghana athletics. Uh, for the few years I've spent at Ghana Athletic Association, I see the Ghana athletics is doing so much for, for the athlete through their as executive. But then there's the need to do more at a basic level. Okay. If we want to win gold in the future, personally, personally, we need to go down, down to the, to the grassroots okay. and begin to groom and nature um, our our younger generation to be able to okay perform. um james listen to this one says please i'm asari from opebia i love them very well and i think they will help the athletics the athletes to improve uh, this from asari to you guys no thank you yeah, thank, thank you, you asari, asari. <laughs> <laughs> and then this one is from reverend ampofo yeah. uh it's one uh, it's one of uh, a fly you know that i know somewhere else he says that you guys have really handled the topic excellently Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's our job. And my like director, it, yeah. Mr. Joe Boss is watching you. Nice. He's so much pleased with yeah. you. I mean, with your contributions. Nice. I, I mean, it's, it's time we invite him to the to the to the affair. To do what? To run? No. no, 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 no. Yes, no, no. Okay, fine. For himself. Fine, fine. I, I mean, this is what we Please, we do. Please, Joe cannot run now. No, no, don't worry. You know, we, you know what, what we do? Yeah. We set up the machine ourselves, uh -huh. and then we do a test run. And yeah, you will watch it. You will watch it. You will get it. You will come chance. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, so watch it. Uh, are, you, are you through with your final words? Uh, and, and once we, we, are, we are able to, to get the younger ones, we yeah. begin to invest, as my colleague said, into mm -hmm. to them. We start giving them opportunity. Sometimes to our athletes get to be matured at the university <laughs> level, and we, we want uh, the, I mean, the uh, executive of uh, Guza to be able to also help. I mean, continually okay. support these uh, athletes so as that i mean one day 
as uh, Matabibiza won a gold in Japan in yeah. some, some few years. China. Yeah, uh, Ch China. Yeah, Jing, yeah. yeah. We, we, we will be also be coming out with more gold in that endeavor. We have talent here. I can tell you for sure. We have talent here. Your final words, Why should Okay, festive. To, to add up to what my brother just said, athletics is a bit technical. Okay. It's not just about going to the field to run. Yeah. And we are in to help. Okay. And if their athlete is also ready, we are also in to support them. So what I urge them is that they should, one thing as an athlete, may I always tell myself is the, the word discipline. Mm. You need to be disciplined in whatever you are doing. Okay. To be a professional athlete, you need to be disciplined from the training ground to, the, the, to, the, to the competition okay. from there. And one, one thing I've realized is that we the Ghanaians, our, always our major uh, concern is about the money. Mm. I'm going for money, 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 money. But if you don't have passion for the team, I bet you. You, you can't go, get to your destination. Bet, yes, you go, bet you get luck on the way. Now, let's not forget, just in one minute, you guys also you know, are very much proactive in uh, the promotion of triathlon. Yeah. Um, I mean, in this country, you know, led by your able uh, president, Mr. How is triathlon moving? Triathlon is doing well. I um, mean, we just finished hosting the West African uh, triathlon uh, last like, year. Uh, championship last year. Okay. And we have been given the nod to also host the African triathlon uh, championship in Ghana wow. coming June. And wow. for that, for that we, we, we are putting up um, the Legon series. And so if you can, you can watch my, my oh, guys. Uh, yeah, okay. we, yeah. And we we, we 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 <laughs> are we we are putting up the Legon series so as I will be able to have athletes will be able to qualify to take part in the African uh, Triathlon Championship. Interesting. Yeah, in okay. June. So we have one in May, May, May 12th, yes, right? May 12th. Uh, yeah, and, and, and then the Africa one is ninth. It's ninth, ninth, ninth June. Yeah, and to add up to what my brother just said, people like Triathlon is a thing one sports. Mm. Swimming, running, and biking. Exactly. Mm. What I wanted to come to. Yeah. Swimming. Swimming. Mm. Running, running, running. And cycling. Cycling. Yeah. cycling. Yeah. If, if first of all, have to swim. Swim. We have Olympic standard and the sprint standard. The Olympic okay. standard is you swim for 1,500 meters. That is the 1.5 kilometers. Wow. And you bike for 40 kilometers and you run for 10 kilometers. Wow. But the sprint standard is you swim for 750 meters. Okay. And you bike for 20 kilometers and you run for 5 meters. Wow. So yeah. for the Legon, the Legon, the Legon sprint series is the normal. Uh, uh, the, I mean, it's the sprint, normal, yeah. Yes, that's the 750. Okay. But what we are going to host for the Africa one is the Olympic standard. Wow. It's okay. like it's like a qualification. Okay. So it's going it's going to be one of the qualification mm -hmm. to Tokyo, Tokyo 2020. 2020. Yes. Yeah. So we are going to have a triathlon. A triathlete from Ghana participating yes. in, in Tokyo. Tokyo 2020. Okay. Thank you very much, James. Um, uh, Dega, Billy James Dega, yeah. and of course, Bwachi Yadom Yao. Uh, thank you very much for coming to it, gentlemen. And I wish to have you I mean, some time, some other time right here on the Ultimate Sports. Uh, we, are, we, we are going to be back because from here we are going to prepare for Tamale, okay. where, where we are going to organize the under, under 18 championship okay. for our athletes to, to qualify to okay. Abidjan. So once we are back, we'll bring you the, the results. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, certainly, these are my wonderful guests, of course, you know, they are actually so much telepathic, very, very intelligent, of course, you know, and when it comes to the scientific aspect of athletics in this country, kudos to them, and um, we hope to actually have them next time right here on the show. My name has been Dennis Moore, and the show has been the Ultimate Sports, the station, certainly, HSTV. We are back same time next week for more editions of this particular show. Until then, in German, they'll tell you, choose. <laughs> Are you familiar with the ball? Do you have the talent to thrill? Are you able to control the ball with extreme skills? Then the right opportunity is here. HSTV presents to you Ultimate Skills. Get the chance to exhibit your skills on the ball by picking up a form from the offices of HSTV or download from our website ultimatesportsgh.com and be part of this reality show only on HSTV. The first 20 selected ball jugglers will get the opportunity of winning prizes and the ultimate winner will participate in the global contest. What are you waiting for? It is the ultimate skills only on HSTV.
ultimate skills. Live it, love it, own it. Ready for the praise season two? Who takes over from BB Spy and goes on 